morning students how are you all today i am going to discuss the syllabus of ba second year english literature which is prescribed in mohanlal sukhariya university udaipur there are two papers in in english literature ba second year the first paper is drama there are three units uh, in unit a there is a play macbeth by william shakespeare macbeth is one of the four great tragedies of william shakespeare the other three are king lear hamlet and othello in unit b henrik ibsen's a doll's house is there a doll's house is a realist play by henrik ibsen it is a ground breaking play a ground breaking drama in the sense that henrik ibsen was one of those figures in the victorian period who revived and who started the realistic movement in drama so much so that uh, the great playwright of the 20th century george bernard shaw was very much impressed by henrik ibsen's art of playwriting in unit c george bernard shaw's arms and the man is there the second paper which is uh, about poetry there there are four units unit a in unit a there are some poems by english poets when i say english poets i mean to say the poets of england so there is a poem go and fetch go and catch a falling star by john dun thoughts in a garden is by andrew marvel elegy written in a country churchyard is by thomas gray lines composed above tintern abbey is by wordsworth to a skylark and ode to the west wind these are two odes uh, by perse be shelley and ode on a grecian urn and ode to autumn are by john keats the poetry the poems which have been prescribed in your syllabus uh john dunn's go, go and catch a falling star this is a poem from uh, jacobian period and uh, andrew marvel's poem is also from jacobian period these two are called metaphysical poets in the history of english literature thomas gray's elegy written in a country churchyard is from uh the neoclassical period in english literature and wordsworth shelley keats these are three romantic poets the romantic movement in english literature began in 1798 and it continued till 1832 then in unit b there are four poets browning arnold yeats eliot Robert Browning's My Last Duchess is there and Arnold's Dover Beach W B Yeats to a shade and T S Eliot's The Journey of the Magi These four poems are there in your syllabus On your screen you are seeing this word M A G I Normally we pronounce it uh, as Maggie but its pronunciation is not maggie dear students the actual the right correct pronunciation of this word is magi journey of the magi magi this word actually uh it means four saints who came on jesus christ's birth who came with the congratulations of his birth in unit c there are three poems rabindranath uh, sorry there are three poets rabindranath tagore shri aurobindo sarojini naidu rabindranath tagore's heaven of freedom or where the mind is without fear this is the alternative title of this poem it is actually a short poem a short extract from rabindranath tagore's longer poem gitanjali for which he received nobel prize in literature in 1913 
And again, Silent Steps is again from Gitanjali. Sri Aurobindo's transformation, the tiger and the deer, Sarojini Naidu's village song and the soul's prayer, these two points are there in your syllabus. Unit D is uh, related to poetics, means to say the devices which are used in poetry, literary terms, sonnet, lyric, ballad, ode, simile, metaphor, heroic couplet, soliloquy, irony, alliteration, literary appreciation. These are some of the literary terms and uh, uh, poetic devices which are there in your syllabus. So uh, we will discuss all these uh, issues, we will discuss all these topics. Uh, so keep in touch, keep studying. Thank you very much.